Breaking the Wall of Indoor Farming Emissions, Adnan Sharif, Falling Walls Lab, Toronto. Hi, I'm Adnan, and I'm a farmer from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and I'm quite jet lag right now. Um, I'm representing my startup, Lorada, and we are breaking the wall of indoor farming emissions. Now, so here's my sales pitch. The price of your vegetables today fluctuates like the stock market due to complex logistics and bad weather, causing one of Canada's most popular vegetables, lettuce, to increase in price sixfold. Indoor farming was created to stabilize this production, but we have a problem. It's very carbon intensive. Farms are still far away from cities, meaning there's CO2 emissions created per shipment. And if we zoom into the plants and go a little bit closer to the roots, we find the main culprit, rock wool grow media, which is created using high heat, high energy processes to create rock into wool which causes lettuce to have CO2 emissions that are 32 times its weight. What does this mean? So, for a comparison, the average Canadian car emits up to 4,500 kilograms of CO2 per year, about the same as Europe as well. 50% of my university's lettuce consumption emits that same amount in a month. If all of Canada's lettuce were to be grown indoors, we would multiply that emission by more than 300 times. And if the entire world grew lettuce in this, then we would emit 16 million vehicles worth of emissions every single month. That's just one vegetable. And lettuce isn't the only thing that's grown in this. What if I told you someone's already come up with a solution? And at Lorada, we've created a 3D printed soil that instead of rocks, uses engineered biopolymers that we make conducive to plant growth. And we use low heat manufacturing processes to have something that's up to 65 times less carbon intensive than Grodan. We've also made strides in energy use and transportation, creating a lettuce commercial growing system that is up to eight times less carbon intensive than the competition. And the best part is we didn't stop there. We've created a profitable farming as a service business model where we work together with commercial kitchens and build farms for them and service it with one flat fee. I've worked with universities, Michelin star restaurants, and next year, some of Canada's finest dining restaurants. And this figure of one million has surpassed in the past few days. And the best part is, a few hours ago, we just published a new US provisional patent to make a new soil design that is going to be more operationally efficient than our competition. Shh, don't tell Grodan. Thank you. And at Lorada, we're breaking the wall of indoor farming emissions.